Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's Mecha Jam, and I'm back with more Battletech Advanced 3062. Alright, let's get this over to the game scene so we can get to work on this stuff here. Alright. We are on Galatea. We got the Raven in the works, Catapult in the works, Mech Bay 3 in the works. We got Kringle's Killers queued up in the near future. And we got a couple of duels I was looking at in the store. Don't mind me, I'm just for finishing off some yogurt here. All right, so let's um, take a look at the duels. I was—I don't remember what they were exactly, but I remember them being here. What were they? There was—I think there was a dual heavy and a solo medium. Yes. Mm, I'm real tempted to try that dual heavy. Like it's not optimal, but it's it's a risky one, but new equipment available. I'm willing to gamble on some risk. Ooh gosh, eep eep eep. Well We need the money, so We just you know we we we're upgrading the to the third mech bay and that's that's scary. Alright, um All right, we're gonna bring the Marauder and the Archer again because that's what we got in heavies. Put Young Commander in the Archer. We'll put. I'm actually really tempted to put Bunny into the Archer, as opposed to Slapdash. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I think this is this will be better for this particular fight. I admit, like I I love having defensive coordination, defensive formation, but. I want to see if the missile master helps out more with those with those uh, with the with the uh, what's my chickies MRMs. That plus one to hit may actually end up being really freaking good. Bonus damage won't hurt either, honestly, but that's not as that's not as big a deal with MRMs or LRMs. It matters more in SRMs, in my experience. I mean, 10% of four is less awesome than 10% of like eight. <laughs> Which, you know, it's one of those sort of, yeah, that's kind of obvious sort of things. <laughs> yes, I can do basic arithmetic also. A pulse one to hit, ah, it's gravy. I wonder if um, the RNG used by Battletech is based similarly to the uh, probability tables you'd get from the way things are rolled in Battletech, where it's a 2 die 6 bell curve. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be... Um, if it would be a... Bell, if, it, if it's actually like the bell curve there, in the way it's set up, you know... 2x6 curve, which, you know, forces you towards the middle more, or if it's a percent, more, or it's percentile base, and therefore a straight sort of vertical line. Or hell, it could be a par par it could be parabolic, I guess. I don't know how you engineer Man, that, but I, you, I guess in Little theory you could do it. Sand get everywhere. It's so difficult to get out of the cockpit, next thing you know, you're chafing in different... Affirmative. Moving... Okay, we got a Prometheus and a Night Gear. Oh, jeebs. All right, the Night Gear is potentially... Good to go, boss. Let's get as much evasion as we can on you. Sprinting. I'll just lob, lob a salvo of missiles at the. Uh... Or I could actually no. I'm actually going to sensor lock it. Locked him. Clear as day. 
Yeah, it's a jade kite. That thing is potentially very scary. Alright. Standing by. I'm actually a very big fan of that mech in general. Accelerating to maximum speed. Shoot at the Prometheus since it's the easier target. Not bad odds. I don't want to go with the split shot or paired shots. Let's go with paired. Let's go. With, I want to put a big holes in it. Put as big a hole in it as I can. Did it reserve last turn? Blow. I don't think it did. Bunny here. We're gonna get close to Prometheus and hammer it. It just went twice in a row, didn't it? After that one. Yes, I hear you. Oh, I got I can call shot now, which is big. Yeah, alright. Confirmed. And that's an easy target in general than a Jade Kite. Just go straight center torso. The director must fall. Bunny here. Open up its center torso, and we're just going to pour missiles into it. Perfect. Woo! Enemy down. That went about as well as it could go, honestly. Mission successful. I'm not sure exactly how we killed the Prometheus, but... I'll have to go back and look at the footage, I guess, maybe later. I don't know, I'll think about it. But yeah, the... Those bi that binary PPC, those binary PPCs are interesting. I don't know. I don't know if they're ten, worth the ten tons that they weigh, or whatever they, what it is they weigh. They weigh a ridiculous amount. But they're fun. Like, they're legitimately fun guns. I just don't know if they're actually good. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, that's a nice chunk of cash there. Um, let's get that medium duel in. Uh, and then we can roll the clock for it a bit, I guess. 
New equipment oh, available. Are there two million medium duels? Ooh, spicy. That's another heavy duel. We've got two wins in light, medium, and heavy, according to my notes. Bombard goes out. I think we put Zverg in there, right? Either Zverg or Saber. Saber Cat. Zverg needs experience more. Let's go. And we got another solo. We, could, we got another medium solo duel. So we'll, we'll get us up to four, I think, which is nice. This duo heavy duels are going reasonably well so far. If a little spooky. Seriously, those uh, the binary PPCs are just mean. <laughs> I just don't know how well they work. Part of me will kind of wants to try running like, I mean, we we've done the Marauder with the uh, with the improved binaries, and that was fun. Part of me wants to try uh, v large VSPLs. They don't have the range that like the peeper those bleepers do, but. They do way less than them, not by a lot, but a little bit. I think. I'll have to check. I checked the weight on those. They're heavy. That's all I remember. I know they're at least 10 tons. They might be more. I think they're 10. That's what I want What I want to say. Which means they're only slightly heavier than the uh, the large VSPL, which I think is 9, if I remember correctly. The improved binary is 9. I know that. That's one I remember. <laughs> Here we go. Command interface initiated. Affirmative. Vroom, vroom. Not super fast. How can I help? Copy that. Let's get some cover here. Let's see what you are briefly. Frenzy. All right, so it's a dervish. your back. I can get a back shot on him. This is rear armor like non-existent. Yeah, we'll take the back shot we're gonna get. Let's see. Not the best odds, but we'll take it. We'll save the second salvo for when we have precise strike, but like that's the ideal thing is you want to go with precise strike, but It's just they don't have, they just doesn't, didn't have enough, like, even with bad hit numbers, it didn't have, like, not great, not perfect hit numbers. It didn't have enough rear armor to survive what I'm doing to it. That's why I did that. I'm like, okay, it's only got 30 armor in each location. Even with bad rolls, I should be able to kill it. 
Sorry, even with mediocre rolls, like I need, I like really bad rolls, I wouldn't kill. But mediocre rolls, I can get the kill. And we got them. We got base. I think we basically went almost dead average there. So. I'm gonna check the store and see if there's another medium ectol there. I'm gonna take that sucker like in a heartbeat. So that gets us closer and closer. Again, like we don't need the medium uh, hero at this point. I'd like one. There's several medium heroes I would not mind having. I think actually the frenzy would have been a great pick. Would have been great for. Uh, Replacing the Dervish I've got, if I remember the, the Frenzy's loadout correctly. So if I saw that correctly, and we've got another Media McDool in the store, I'm definitely doing that right, right the hell now. Yeah, we do. Great. Like, this is just nice, nice, very nice money, and... A lot of experience, too. And we're... Getting closer to getting that free hero mech, which is always fun. We need more heavy duels for that, really. But, you know. Yeah, it depends entirely on what we're up against, obviously, but... Whether I do what I did there, or whether I dick around and buy time till I get a precise shot. But this thing is a targeting computer, and being able to call, pour the damage into one location is a big help. Especially those lasers. Oh. I'm looking forward to this. This should be fun. We've already gotten one hero mech, actually. I just remembered. So we got the Golden Boy. I just, just remembered. We have Golden Boy. So we, we've gotten one hero at medium already. And it was a good one. I'm pretty happy with that one, honestly. Command interface initiated. Same map. I'm moving. We'll take the same opening moves because we don't know what we're up against or where. You know, we know where it is, but we don't know what we're up against. It is not fast. Talk to me. I'm guessing that's another bombard then. That's a guess, but I'm not sure. Let's see what you are. I've got yep. a sensor lock. Bombard 20. That's the Gauss rifle one, I think. Can't go further that way. All right. Roger. I'm gonna play around here a bit. I want. I very much want precise shot for when we go against him. Ideally, I want to get behind him, but I can probably go in through a side torso and kill too, because they, that will have an XL engine. Talk to me. Okay, we've got precise shot up, but we need him to get closer. I've 
Got a sensor lock. How can I help? Ken's very sprint behind. No, not this turn. All right. Aye, holding to bleed heat. I've got your back. That is a Gauss Rifle one. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to... I think we can do this. this. It's got an XL engine, so we should be able to kill it from the side if I roll, if I roll decently. Yeah, we should be good. That's one less hostile on the field. Yep, that's what I thought was going to happen, Mission and it happened. Successful. Perfect. Alright, so my plan right now is we're going to do some shopping, take a look at some stuff, see if there's anything we want to buy, roll the clock forward. I'm going to hold off on Kringle's Killers for a bit. I want to make sure we have the catapult for that, um, but we're definitely going to do that. I think that'll be the next episode we do, will be Kringle's Killers. Go ahead and end the week, honestly. That'll be that'll be the Friday episode if I if I do if things are planned correctly. I think that'd be fun. That'd be a good way to end them, and that'd be a good way to end the week. That'd be fun. I think that'd be fun. What do you guys think? Well, let me know. <laughs> but we'll, I think we may get some more duels in here. We'll see. That's a, that's a fourth medium win. So we have two light wins, four mediums, two heavies, is according to my records. All right, yeah, we should actually spend experience before I forget. We should also take a look at what's in the store. If there's anything we want there, because we actually have some. We actually now have some money. We're up, up to nearly seven million. We absolutely should spend experience. Uh, let's see, blaze. Stand nope. by. You have my Comet should have yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's grab you. Training complete. How can I help? Ferg, uh, oh yeah, you want to work your way up towards uh, call shot mastery for dueling. Training confirmed, Commander. Awaiting orders. Good to go, Bunny. Yep. Mech warrior training complete. Commander. Nakia, Saber Cat. Um. Yeah, I can buy the point of guilt, so I think we'll save it. Good to go. Ooh, Slapdash very much wants more piloting. Ready? She can melee pilot, so. Waiting on you, Commander. Mm -hmm. Reporting. So I want that tactics point for her. Commander? He's okay, yeah. Oh, okay, Wolf Banes. Ooh, Wolf Banes. I would normally. I want, want that gunnery, but we want that point of piloting Training first. Confirmed. Now we'll go into gunnery and probably into tactics. All right, let's take a look at the store. We also should probably think about stuff we want for the archer. We're okay on MMLs for the time being, I think. Anything else here we care about? Reloading 20, we probably should grab that. New weapon systems available. Uh, Com Suite plus plus is actually tempting. That light engine wouldn't have sucked either. That would actually be not bad to have. I should really tempt to grab that light engine. Uh, prototype dual heatsink. We had the kit, I'd buy those. Uh, Lauren Behemoth is interesting, but it weighs more than I want to spend. It, actually, I can't use that, never mind. Uh, standard Shredder Turret. 
maybe Aver Aerospace is actually a little tempting. Those things are actually kind of terrifying. TSM is actually tempting. Oh, we actually already have that. Never mind. All right. We have plenty of LR Artemis LRM ammo. I might grab that Stumnos PPC, actually. That I think we're going to grab, yeah. I love. I really do like Stumnos PPCs. Available. They're very good. One-shot Corsair is not that interesting. Defense plus gyro is a little tempting. That is an interesting gun. Ray, having a spare one of those wouldn't suck. New equipment available. The Aver Aerospace Fighter contract is very tempting. As the t we don't need another TTS energy at the moment. All right. Um, tempting. So does that beat out the? Does that beat out the large laser to mediums? I think it does. Yeah, we're gonna buy that. Expensive, but yeah. New equipment All right. available. All right, time to run the clock forward a bit. New subscription. We're gonna check in on the store every now and then to, to see if it if the duels have reset. They probably won't have, but it's worth looking. It has. Okay, the store's reset. I can tell. Duo medium, solo assault, solo heavy. All right. Life Pharaoh. I think I might buy that to have a have that. There are times you times getting a little bit of armor weight savings is great, and only seven slots is nice. Rangefinder Plus is nice. There's some good stuff here. Hellspawn, Royal Mongoose, don't care about those. I uh, don't really care about that. Jar of Civilization, Double Heat Sink Kit's cute, but we have those. AoE LR ammo is interesting, but we have it. Have Swarm ammo. Uh, maybe more Tracer Machine Gun ammo might not be bad. All right. Duo Media Mech Duel. Can we really do that? I, actually, I think we can do that now. I think we got a couple of mechs that might be, might be okay for that. All right. And the solo heavy, we can. I, I think we can do definitively with the Marauder. We're gonna grab this light pharaoh because I'm, I want to buy that before I forget available. to buy it. Basically, we definitely want the range finders. We might buy, 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 we might buy more than one of those. Actually, I'll buy those later. I'm not gonna worry about that. Torso mount cockpit is very interesting. Like legit, that's interesting. Center. Did we buy the contract already? I forget. We did not buy it yet. Okay. I 
All right, we're going to gamble on this duo medium mech duel, and then we're going to gamble on the solo heavy. New equipment available. I'm a little worried by this. All right, let's take a look at medium options. What do we bring? I could bring the Dervish. With its four SRM sixes. And we gamble on Wolfbane to be able to get the job done. Gives inherent accuracy. We could bring the Kentaro for a bit of reach. We could bring the Crab with its snubs. And the improved communication is giving you more, be able to get the bombards, uh, uh, the call shots and the bombard up more often. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I think that's what we're doing. Let's try this. I wish the crab had a targeting computer. That's what I really wish. But we'll see. The crab should be super accurate is the big thing. Like, she's gunnery 10 and, like, it's got, the, they're arm mounted and it's got a TTS, so... And it's fairly fast, so this should be doable. Like the crab could, in theory, if we can get the crab to the side of something, shoot at it, try to open up, like open, act like a can opener for the for the uh, bombard. Worst case, it can debuff stuff with the PPCs. Like that's like the worst case scenario. Yeah, so the plan is we're just going to be doing a bunch of duels today. And we'll be doing, we'll try out Kringle's Killers on the next episode. Which should be interesting and challenging. Terrifying. Like, actively terrifying. I've done Kringle's Killers before, and I think we did it on the, one of the YouTube runs, actually. We got And we got the uh, we got the sled out of it, if I remember correctly. I think that was YouTube run, or was that Twitch run? I forget. That ended up being a fast headhunter, if I remember correctly. Because it can run like... It's got those huge energy batteries on, a on the torso mounted turret on the, on the, on the sled. Remember correctly, we, we ran like a Clan XL in it and a uh, uh, Clan Double Heat Sinks and such. Like that's a thing you really want Clan Double Heat Sinks or ideally prototype Double Heat Double Heat Sinks, just because they take up so much less room. Command interface initiated. Aye aye. I okay. I just realized I maybe should have put put the other. Uh... Okay, that's reasonably quick. Don't see the other one. Talk to me. Confirmed. It's going to sensor lock it. Yeah, the extra... Uh, that's an interesting counter. I've got a sensor lock. Gilly. That's a bombard, isn't it? XL engine. It's just an enforcer with a Gauss rifle. All right. Commander. Yes, Commander. Okay. 
that's almost certainly a bombard up here, given this movement last turn. Absolutely going to precise shot this because I want to make sure I hit. Can't call it shot, but. I'll break him in two. side there while we're at it and save the precise shot and just pour it in yeah roger I'll just take a front shot here. See what what damage where the damage goes. And I am correct. It is a bombard. It is the AC twenty one. That is scary. Shot that side torso. That's going to overheat me a fair bit. Uh, what a waste. My flamer is out of fuel. Yeah, we overheated, but we. Ran ourselves out of anything that could explode right there, so I wasn't worried about that. So that's up to five medium duels, I think. So one more medium duel, and we'll be, we'll be getting a, another hero mech. Ooh. I'll need to make room for that. We'll have room for it soon, so as long as I don't win it here. That'd be awkward. Just a nice influx of experience. All right. That was nice. I've got a thought, actually, what I'm going to do in the next run here. We're going solo here. That was taste. That was a tasty win. A nice bit of cash. Mmm, cash. Broken, right? Just the mix are being refit. Okay, whatever. Oh, that was satisfying. All right, let's grab that last duel we can do. We, we can't do the assault make duel at the moment. 
New equipment available. That's only three and a half skulls for once. Ooh, exciting. All right, this will get us to like seven million sea bills, which will be very nice. Actually, I'm going to bring Sabercat on this. I have a thought. So yeah, this is gonna be a day of duels, but I'm having I'm having fun with these. These are these are going well, and we're gonna have a nice little nest egg. We've gotten some nice bits of tech that we picked up. And soon we'll have Mech Bay three, which will be nice. It'll be very nice to have. see I'm not sure what we're gonna yeah so we're gonna do I my plan right now is Kringle's Killers on Friday I think on the next episode that's my plan currently and I'll admit I'm a little concerned <laughs> it's potentially a very scary mission um, it's a lot of heavy mechs um and an assault. A pretty scary assault, too, at that. If I remember correctly, so. A lot of fast heavy mechs with a lot of firepower, so. Ooh, I'm worried. But there's also a possibility I could just say, I don't know. Interface initiated. Got it. So yeah, he's getting extra evasion and such out of this because he is uh well it's gonna be hard he's gonna be much harder to hit than the commander, isn't that? Roger. I did not recognize what that was. Got a lock. Storm cloud. Okay, it's a crusader variant. Okay. Primarily a long range combatant. We don't have call shot this turn, but that's fine. I'm actually tempted. I want to get damage on target here, so. Targeting for an alpha strike. Give me his back. Now give me his side, but yeah, it does an XL engine. How much side torso armor does it have? No retreat. That's 
not where he wants to be. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Standing by. Not as much room as I want. Better odds. It's going full. I'm gonna, take my, I'm gonna take my better odds here. Locking in all weapon systems. Yeah. I knew that one of those to the back yeah. would probably kill, so. And those, those God, those Successful. binary PVCs hit like trucks. Jeez. Oof. As far as you can't get, they do have a minimum range. You can't get like too, too close. They're weird guns. They have a minimum range, but they have damage fall off also. So it's a little, eh, a little tricky, which is cool. Like, I, I like that I have to think about them. They're fun. All right. Nice chunk of experience points for uh, Sabercat there. Oh, all right, so. Take a look at the store and run the clock forward a bit. Because uh, the plan is we're going to get ourselves in position to run. Uh... Pringles Killers next episode. I'm 95% sure that's what we're going to do, but. Not 100% positive. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm almost positive. Like, I'm willing to gamble on it. And we'll have our technically first assault mech, technically. All right, let me just take a quick look at the store. Let's see what we got to buy here. If there's anything we want to buy before we roll forward that we don't already have. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of ER smalls for the moment. Um, Got two plasma rifles. Maybe more plasma rifles, maybe? Maybe. I'll think about it. Okay, I got two Thunderbolt 15s. I do have two Thunderbolt 15s. All right. I know I was thinking about using them at some point. Can't do the Salt Mac Duel. Tempted to buy the Heavy Pharaoh for the same reason buying the Light Pharaoh. Can't really use that. I know I'm turret contract. The range finders we want. I might want the tor might want a torso mount contract cockpit to have one. Because it does some fun stuff. Um Um Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy at least one probably buy two range finders here. New equipment available. Buy the cockpit because that'll be fun. Buy one cockpit. I don't think I want two, but one. What having one would be nice. And the heavy pharaoh, I think. New equipment available. And I don't think there's anything here I care about. Not really. Comp Suite Plus is cute, but nah. Yeah, we're good. There's Einar ammo. We'd consider buying that, but there isn't. All right. The war has started. I'm gonna look at the store. I don't. It shouldn't have reset because I think it only resets once per month. Resets once per month in the middle, but well, it's worth taking a quick peek. 
That might have. Wait, I think it did. It did. All right, well. Ooh, an improved heat bank. That's nice. Hang on a second. All right. Um, we might save that stuff for next episode. I think. Very tempted to get that. Uh... Tell you what. I'm gonna pick that up right now. New equipment. We may do the dual heavy next time, but I'm gonna run the clock for. I want to get the mech bay here, and then we'll do the. Uh... Those that we have room. Yeah, this should get us the heavy, the medium mech. Do this. That gets us back most money we just spent. <laughs> Love that. Zverg, you get in there. Right, this should be good. This should be quick, and we should be able to wrap up here. We should be getting a the three heavy duels. We'll be up to four after the after after this round. Like we very well might we're, we're getting close to being able to get like a hero a hero heavy, which would be nice. That'd be fun. That'd be fun to have. All right, so we're gonna do this, and then we'll go. We'll wrap up. Hopefully, this will be quick. And then I can go get, go do. I've got some groceries to go pick up, so. <laughs> so I need to wrap this up quickly. But we'll probably not play around with whatever we get until I'll, I'll probably play around with it off stream. But I do want to see what we what we what we can score out of this. I'm curious. All right, Zverg, let's go out there and wreak some havoc. Command interface initiated. Confirmed. Forty toner. All right, so it's gonna be fast. The Vulcan. All right. That's a weird Vulcan. Just a bunch of us from fours. All right. I've got your back. Ready to run. Fire the lasers. Target confirmed. Get some damage on target. We're, we're, we're just trying to distract him. Can I get behind him and kick him? That'd be great. Talk to me. There we go. Yep. Copy that. To hell with the weapons. Yep. That's 
one less hostile on the field. And <laughs> we just deleted the poor thing. <laughs> Oh, this bombard is so just evil in duels. <laughs> it's just mean. It's just mean, man. It's just mean. So this should be a free hero, if my math is correct. We'll see what it is. Hopefully it'll be something fun. Or good. Preferably something good, but so, yeah, fun and or good. Here comes the toy, the new to our new. Hopefully, here comes our new toy. Assuming my my tracking is correct, it should be. But yeah, we'll do the other duel next time that we can do. And yeah, we'll have the second hero medium, which I am not objecting to at all. It'd be hilarious. If we got a second golden boy. That'd be silly. <laughs> I'd probably replace the dervish with that, honestly. <laughs> um. But yeah, I'm not expecting that, obviously. There's a lot of options that could pop up. Yep, here we go. The Blood Kit. That's a 40 tonner. I'm not super excited by that. Apollo Fire Control. Okay. Caseless AC 10 ammo. AC 20 piercing. And HVAC 5. I'm not ecstatic about that, but that might have some uses. Maybe we'll, th we'll see. I'll take a look at the Blood Kit. I don't know what this is. It's an Arctic Wolf variant. It'll be fast. All right. Well, we are now at zero on the that tracker. Four jump jets. Interesting. Like a 40 tonner, like that's guy. There are decent 40 tonners, although I'm much more interested. I would have been much more interested in it had it been a inner sphere 40 tonner. Because it's a clanner, which means it can't kick. Realistically, it's got to rely on its. Can't rely on a. No, it's got a clan endo seal and clan ferrofit, which is not a bad thing. Worst case, we can pillage the Clan XL and the Clan Double Heat Sink Kit for other stuff, which I am not, which I would not object to. Um, honestly, it's got a lot of punch for a mech its size. Holy cow! It is fast and has a lot of firepower for its size. Jeez. All right. Okay, I can see some uses for this. This is this is a fast. Th God damn. All right, I can see some uses for this. This is a a pretty good heavy scout. It's not like the best, but like. God damn, you can get like three. You can get three rocket launchers onto the sucker if I wanted to. Like this actually would not be a bad duelist. Huh. It overheats too much right now, but, like, that's fixable. And it doesn't overheat by as much as it looks like he's got the clan quirk and the hero mech quirk, which would get it down to... Well, okay, it overheats by a lot. <laughs> by a lot, a lot. But, like, that's because he's running clan ER larges. I don't know. This could be turned into something interesting, I think. Alright. It's fast. Alright, I'd be interested to see what, I, see, what, see what we can work this up with this. Um... Like, this is one of those rare 40 tonners I kind of like the hard points on. Interesting. Like, it's actually got good hard points, like, legitimately. Cute. Alright, folks, though. That is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, that's also one of the few mechs where I'm, like, actually really interested in running Clan SRMs on it, because the myopic range doesn't matter when you're that fast. 
Anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As a reminder, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mechagm. I stream most weekday afternoons starting around 2.30 p.m. Eastern, around until about 7 p.m. Uh, Mondays and Thursdays are when I stream Battletech Advanced. I've got a, different, a separate, entirely separate run going on there right now. Uh, Tuesdays, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV. Fridays are, I'm sort of working on what my plans are. I'm hoping to get, I'm, ho I'm hoping to maybe get, get into MechWarrior 5. I'm looking at some mods for it right now, then and see if I can get it to be a bit more, more my speed, but we'll see. Uh, Saturdays is Tabletop RPG Day, and Sundays is a flex day for things I need, I am doing and such, projects and such, or whatever I feel like. I feel like. Um, but yeah, currently it's Pokemon, but we'll, that may change up. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much. I hope I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.